Okay, so today we're looking at perimeter. So over the year nine and 10, you've learned about perimeter twice already, and we're learning it at a year 11 level this year. So shapes are likely to be complicated and not have all the sides on it. Up till now, you've probably been given shapes that have all the sides measured on them. So you might have had something like, what is the perimeter? Good, the distance around the edge. So the distance around a shape. Okay, so if we had a really basic one, like a triangle, not any specific sort of triangle, and we have this side is five centimeters, this side is 5.5 centimetres, and this side is 6.5 centimetres. What would we write in order to find the perimeter? We'd start off with P, or perimeter, because we want to indicate that we know what we're finding. So P stands for perimeter, happy with that. What would our working be to find the perimeter of this shape? Five plus 5.5 5 plus 6.5. Perfect. Alright, so 10, 16, 17 centimetres. Making sure that we put our units on. Rounding is not going to be so important in this particular one, except when we deal with circles. So, we need to make sure that we use every single side. So, a more complicated question would look something like this. All right, so if we just added up those four numbers, we wouldn't have the perimeter because we haven't gone right around the shape. We need to find the lengths that are missing. So what would be the length of this side? Tia? Nine centimetres, good. We'd add up this one and this one, all right? What would be the length of this side? Good, five centimetres is correct. So now that we've got all the sides, we would then put it with working, 8 plus 9 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 5, which is 9 and 9 is 18, and 8 and 8 is 16, and 18 and 16 make 24 and 24 is 37. Yeah, I think you're right. 17 plus 3 is 20, 27, 37. That makes sense though. What have I done wrong? Where's the wrong part? Oh, you put 9 instead of. Oh, you didn't use a 4. Alright, right, good, spotting. Why did I know that was not 37? Why did I know it was not 37? Because <coughs> this side and that side are two odd numbers. They add together to give an even number. This side and this side, 8 and 8, is an even number. And I had an odd number. So I knew something was wrong there. I just had to find out what it was. All right. So <coughs> we might have something that looks like this. Um... Again, we don't have all the measurements. So what are, what's helping us to find it here? And what does it mean? Good, so two lines through the sides means they're equal. So I know that side is eight centimeters also. So when I find the perimeter, I've got eight plus eight plus five. This time that even rule doesn't work. 16 plus five is 21 centimeters. Then it can get even harder. So. This is why we did trig before now. I mean Pythagoras. I want to find the I want to find the perimeter of this shape. Alright? I don't know the side, but I can use 
Pythagoras, k squared equals 6 squared plus 5 squared equals 36 plus 25. So k will equal the square root of 61, which equals 7.81. Thank you. Centimetres. This time I have rounded. I hope correctly. So I will put that I've rounded it to two, cent two decimal places. All right, so we just have to use everything we can to make sure we have every edge around a shape. 